everyone, and welcome once again to another edition of the Red, Brown, and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins with Jennifer Brown Day, fresh from vacation. Indeed. Nice to have you back. <laughs> Thank you. And it was summer vacation, which is something a lot of people are planning, and they're mm -hmm. gone, and they're getting that time away from home. Um, but it's also the time that people, like you said before, are realizing with the kids' home how small that house really is. So. I guess right now is the time that you would recommend drive-bys and just to get out and enjoy the weather and, you know, find you a new home. Absolutely, yeah. Drive-bys, we always recommend those, especially after you find properties on the websites mm -hmm. or on the EKAR website, whichever one that you look at. Um, but yes, it's a great time for drive-bys and a great time for showings. So call your realtor, set up a showing. It's the perfect time of year to go out and look at houses. And when you're doing those drive-bys, you know that Jennifer works for Red, Brown & Williams, but if you mm -hmm. see another realtor sign in the yard, you can still help them. Oh, absolutely. Any of the agents in, in Eastern Kentucky can show any of the other agents' listings. So, yeah, if you see another sign, we, uh, Red, Brown & Williams would greatly appreciate you calling uh, one of our agents to see the house. Okay. Now we're going to go and look at five of your listings. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one, let's start. This is a home in Floyd County. Actually, mm -hmm. this is just off Daniels Creek. It is just off Daniels Creek, which if you're familiar with that area means you're right off US 23. So it's a super convenient location. Mm -hmm. uh, but right off Daniels Creek, it's on uh, Holbrook Drive, which if you go up Daniels Creek is the neighborhood that comes up on your left. And you can see in the pictures that are on the screen right now, it's just a gorgeous house. A lot of curb appeal, which I'm actually going to talk about in the Real Estate Minute today. Okay. But it's one that really has a lot of curb appeal and would make a great home for somebody. And you can't really tell in the picture, but it's got a really nice fenced-in backyard. Mm -hmm. I'm actually standing in the corner of the backyard taking that picture of the back of the house, but you have plenty of room if you want to do play sets or have pets or even put in a pool, you have plenty of space to do all that in the backyard. And, and they've taken care of the house on the inside also. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're looking, you've got the first floor master, which is, is very popular, but then the flooring, they've got the hardwood flooring, they've gone ahead and they've done crown molding, all those little finishes that you notice the minute you walk in. Exactly. It does have all those finishes. Something that I like about this house, and I think most people would, is you actually, every single bedroom has a walk-in closet. So, you know, masters tend to have walk-in mm -hmm. closets just because they tend to be a little bit bigger, but all four bedrooms in this house have walk-in closets. And then, like you said, the master is on the first floor, so you've got the three bedrooms upstairs with a full bathroom that's accessible to those three. So, you know, if you do have... Um, kids, if you mm -hmm. have a lot of guests, they have a bathroom to themselves as well, which is really important, you know, for having people in and out. All of those little extras that you're very thankful to have when exactly. you have company over. Exactly. And then it's got a two-car two car attached garage, mm -hmm. um, private rear deck, huge yard. Definitely, I bet this is one of those, the pictures just don't do it justice, because what we're reading is a lot more than what these pictures are showing. Exactly, exactly. This is one that I really recommend c people call and go look at. This is one you're really getting a lot of house for the money, so it's one that it really would help you to see. All right, now this one, once again, in Floyd County, located just off of Daniels Creek, right on US 23, convenient to Pikeville or Prestonsburg. Uh, give Jennifer a call. The price on this one is 230000 Like you said, you're getting a lot for the money. Absolutely. And when you do give her a call in the Pikeville office, mention 106699. That's the number for this one. And let's give the uh, Pikeville office number. Okay. The office number is 606-437-2333. All right. Now let's move along on the next house. It's you're going to think because we say Mayor Creek, you're going to think, well, that's in Floyd County. But the way that it works out, it's technically in Pike. It is. It's, it's so weird when you look at a map how Mare Creek runs. Mm -hmm. uh, same way with Pike Floyd Hollow. People are kind of familiar with that general area off 23. But you actually cross back into Pike County. Um, at the end of Mare Creek. So this is off Stratton Branch. And when we, when we say Mare Creek, because I don't think there's a sign out there that says it because you get up on it so quickly on US 23, but if you know where the old Blackburn's greenhouse is, mm -hmm. that is Mare Creek. This one I love to look at because mm -hmm. it's just private. It gives you that, that feeling of, you know, being out in the country. And the fact that it's a log home helps with that feel. Absolutely. I've actually had the opportunity. It's a new listing, but I've actually shown it quite a bit in the last couple of weeks. And this is one, it's just fun to show. Like, people really react positively 
to it when they're when they're looking at it. Mm -hmm. And it's a really good mix. A lot of people think of a log home and every single surface in the house is wood. And it makes it a little bit overwhelming for some people. Uh -huh. This is actually a log home that they were really smart about how they decorated, especially the inside. So it does have some sheetrock paint with all the wood detailing, some wood walls. So it's not an overwhelming amount of wood when you walk in the house. You've got the acreage with this one, mm -hmm. um, which is 20 acres, which is a lot in this area. You don't find the acres without, you know, being a farm or anything like that. This one's a house with the acreage all around it, so it's nice to be able to sit there and go, I own that. Mm -hmm. I own everything around me. Right. You can sit on the front porch of this house, and even though, to be honest, your neighbor is probably less than a quarter of a mile, but the way mm -hmm. that the house sits, the way that the property sits, you actually can't see another neighbor and they can't see you. And you know, looking into it on the inside, you've got that two-story living room. Mm -hmm. So you walk in and you get that feel of that tall ceiling space. And then you've got the banister. Uh, you can, the upstairs looks out over the bottom. And the really neat thing about this house, it's actually a four bedroom. So it's a big oh, house. Wow. Yeah, it's a four bedroom. And then you have a room on the first and the second floor that could also be a den, an office, or another bedroom if you wanted to, you know, add a closet or something like that. So you have a lot of space in this house. And this is definitely one for people to look at, you know, if like, just like the last one, convenient to Pike County or mm -hmm. Floyd County. Um, and then not far from US 23. So it's a very convenient location, but you get the private feeling. Exactly, exactly. All right, the price on this one is 249 for this home in Pike County on Mayor Creek. And if someone would prefer to email you, what would that, mm -hmm. let's give that email address. Okay, the email is jbrown at rbnw.com. Okay, now moving on to the next one. This one's back in Pike County that's no question it's in Pike County. It's off of Grassy Creek, which is Raccoon, the Raccoon area. Correct, correct. If you're going up Grassy, uh, Riggs Road, which is the mm -hmm. um, address of this house, will actually come up on your left off of Grassy. And this property, um, again, it's one that people have really reacted positively to on showings. It's not a very old house. It was just built in 1997. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a lot of square footage, about 2,400 square feet, plus an oversized two-car detached garage. So everybody kind of likes the feel of all the space they get, but it's not a whole lot to maintain. It's a smaller lot. It's about a 100 by 100 lot. So you have little maintenance, but a lot of space. Which, which is, nice. is attractive for a lot of people, exactly. especially if you get up in years, uh, the smaller yard and the less maintenance on the outside, the better. Exactly. This one has cathedral ceilings in the living room, and you can kind of see it, I believe, in the last picture. And the second floor balcony overlooks the living room, so it gives it a really nice, big, open feel. It's got mm -hmm. a big, wide stairway, I know, that's open also. A lot of people, um, once they move in a house and they start moving furniture to that second floor, really they realize they didn't pay much attention to the width of to the, the stairway. Width of the stairway it has a really nice wide stairway that would make moving just a little bit easier and then you, one of the things you talked about before when we were just looking over these you said this one has a great layout it does. so people are very receptive to this when they walk mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. a nice dining area it's kind of that more contemporary style where you don't have a formal dining room but mm -hmm. the dining room is off the kitchen which is open to that really large living room uh, this one 149 so it's a great price for this house mm -hmm. everything we just talked about all under $150,000 one zero six nine forty. Uh, just let them know when you call. This is the house on Grassy, um, and you or any of your agents will be able to show this house. Absolutely. Okay. Now, staying in Pike County, we'll move to Island Creek for the next listing. Actually, this is on the right fork of Island Creek. Correct, and this is actually a brand new listing. And this one just screams that cottage feel, that country cottage to me. Mm -hmm. uh, and the pictures are great for this one because first thing I saw was, wow, we have a new metal roof. Yeah, absolutely, and it's actually noticeably new. You could tell that from the picture. Um, they've actually done a lot of updates. You've got the new roof, new heating and cooling, a brand new bathroom, which we included a picture of. Um, they updated the kitchen. It's got new granite countertops in it that are mm -hmm. absolutely gorgeous. And then you've got a large yard. Actually, this house sits on two and a half acres. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you want to, to fence it in and have a big yard or if you want a pool or you want a garden, 
um, or anything like that, you've got the room to do that. You do, and that's what I put on the write-up, actually. They have, um, the current owners actually have quite a few cars. So mm -hmm. there's enough parking there easily for six cars. They do it all the time. It could be easily another house seat. I mean, you could put another house there. If you're looking for something where you can put possibly another house of some sort for a mother or something like that, perfect location. Or like you said, just a really big yard. And that is attractive to a lot of people, mm -hmm. especially right now, summertime. As we mentioned when we started the show, houses tend to feel a little smaller when the kids are home all summer. So this one's one you could put the swing set out in the yard. Absolutely. And give them that outside play space. Mm -hmm. Plenty of play space. The one thing I do want to mention is uh, the second floor of this one actually has, we've got it listed as a two bedroom. It's possibly a three bedroom with the layout. We can't technically call it a three bedroom. Mm -hmm. So, and then you have some extra square footage up there. But keep in mind, this is one that you could really make work for what you need. So it's, you know, it's kind of one that you can work around what your own needs are. Well, so what we're saying is they have done a lot to make it almost brand new, but there's mm -hmm. still more for you to do to customize. Oh, absolutely. Okay. With every house. <laughs> give you a call on this one. Let's uh, give the Pikeville office number again. Okay. That number is 606-437-2333. 169 is the price on this country cottage um, right here in Pike County. So give Jennifer a call. And mention 106-985 when you call, and they'll get your showing scheduled. Okay. Sounds good. All right, let's end the show with a commercial listing, and this one is right in the city of Pikeville. It is. This is on the city of Pike, in the city of Pikeville on US 23. So you cannot get a better location. <laughs> no. And anyone who travels Pikeville, when you see the pictures, you're going to know exactly where this is. Mm -hmm. I've driven by this building hundreds of times probably, never knew how much space and what all was included with this building. So this is one, if you have a commercial need, listen closely because you will have no idea what's actually there. Well, looking at the pictures, I, I would not know that big warehouse space was there. Mm -hmm. But what blew me away was, yeah, we've got 4,340 square feet on that main floor, but you said there is a 5,500 square foot basement that you have no idea exists. Exactly. It's actually a two-level basement under part of this building that is great storage. It actually has some outdoor access, which I also didn't know was going to be available. On the back side of this building, you actually have access through a driveway just to your building, but you can, you can access multiple levels of the building from the rear. So you can do transferring of goods from the mm -hmm. basement level where you store them up to a main level where you, you know, have a showroom. It's actually so set up for any kind of retail business the way that it is. This was one, I guess, that screams you need to see it in person. Absolutely, absolutely. You really do. And then something else you mentioned, which I, you can tell from the outside, it actually also includes three apartments um, on the second floor of the building. So you've got some rental income, you have warehouse space, you have storage space. And this also includes, people are going to be familiar with the lot down from it that's all fenced, uh -huh. that has some of the equipment on it. That is also included in this. That's where our signs actually hang. So you've got about three acres of property as well. Three acres of property and 10,000 square feet of <laughs> space, which, like I said, now people are going to drive by and they're going to be looking for this space. You can't see it. So the exactly. only way you're going to be able to see this property is if Jennifer takes you or one of your uh, realtors takes you and lets you see it. So go ahead and get that appointment scheduled. Absolutely. All right, let's go over. I Just give the website. Uh, okay. before we end. Okay. The uh, Ray Brandon Williams website is www.rbnw.com. Okay. Now, hopefully we've given you five listings, whether it be commercial or residential, for you to think about and anything you've seen or anything you see online, give these guys a call. They'll be glad to help you. All right. I'm going to step out and let you do your Real Estate Minute. Sounds good. Thank you. Summer is finally here, and with that comes vacations, fun at the pool, and playing outside with the kids. It's also a great time to complete those outside jobs that you have put off all winter and spring. It's important to prepare your home for upcoming seasons so that when this coming winter hits, you're ready. Take the time this summer to make sure your gutters are cleared out, windows are sealed properly, treat for any rodent or termite issues, repair or replace missing shingles or other roof damage, and clean up your yard, trimming the trees and bushes. In addition, 
Now is the time to spruce up outdoor paint, trim, and other items that don't necessarily affect the functionality of the home, but do affect the curb appeal. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. We would be honored if you would join us again very soon.